Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Just popping in super fast because we just did two hours back-to-back -back of therapy to start the day, and we're starting our third hour in literally like seven minutes. I have my son running around behind me pantless. I'm trying really hard to not get him in the shot, but he needs to get dressed because we gotta get going. So literally just wanted to say hi good morning and i'll be back soon because i really don't have time right now tastes like there's alcohol in it i've been meaning to do this for weeks probably and i keep putting it off i have this whole bookshelf here all of these books on this shelf We've got all of these and all of these. I'm gonna go through them and box up the ones that we're not using right now to clear up some space on the shelves. Dimension and sound impossible to obtain in a monoral recording. Just totally accidentally dropped my camera, but everything seems to be functioning okay, um, which is great because obviously I don't deserve nice things. Um, yeah, I'm about halfway through with that shelf, but my back just can't anymore, so I think I'm gonna leave the rest for tomorrow. Just got these in the mail. How fun are these? These are from A Pen and a Plan, and I bought them on Etsy, but it's all stickers regarding well, 2020 basically, so if you're like me and you like to use your planner as a scrapbook as well as an agenda, then this is pretty fantastic. Obviously, it's only 2020 through present day because who knows what else 2020 has in store for us, but this is pretty fantastic. I mean, when you consider that I've been doing all these diaries specifically so that I can remember what I like to call the quarantine experience. How much more quarantine experience can you get than these stickers? Not that it matters because Trump won't let us see the numbers anymore anyways. Morning friends, I am currently recording on the card that used to be in my old camera which was a Canon and so I had to reformat it. So if you're watching this, it worked. And if not, then I'm just talking to myself and it didn't work and I have to go back to my old card. All shall be revealed, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, in the hopes that it did work and that I'm not just talking to myself, it is Friday morning. My son is currently in the bath. I don't know if you guys can hear the running water, but we had a cancellation this morning. Our OT canceled, which means that we've got two therapies today instead of three, which is nice because yesterday we had three when we usually had two and it was hectic. We don't start until one in the afternoon though, which means I should be having like a leisurely morning, but instead I'm just like, how many things can I get accomplished before we have to start therapy? So right now I'm just doing like channel stuff, I'm doing some editing and I'm doing, well, the backing up of those files and things so that I could reformat this card. I've basically spent all morning doing that. And of course we had breakfast, but it's about time now to start getting ready for therapies because the therapies we do have are back to back. So it's like, make sure we do everything before <laughs> because once we sit down, we're gonna be sitting for a while. Hoping we can take my kiddo on like a drive around the neighborhood or something today because the weather has been absolute crap. So we haven't been able to hang out outside at all for a while. And according to the forecast, it's going to be pouring through like Thursday of next week. So basically an entire week straight of just rain. And we haven't left the house in a really long time. So I think that he would enjoy getting out for a little bit of fresh air, even if it's from inside the car. Anyways, I'll do my best to check in in a little bit, but for right now, let's start getting ready for the day, I guess. Sure. Whoa. All 
right, I am very badly lit. I am dripping sweat and I'm still out of breath. I just finished doing Zumba and I think I mentioned probably in the last video, maybe this one, I don't even remember, all the days bleed together. But I work out every single day, at least 20 minutes, usually like 30, 35. Point is usually it's Zumba. As such, my workouts have gotten a little bit stale because I'm used to all the choreography. So I've been trying to branch out into YouTube to find new teachers, new classes, etc. <laughs> I just found a class that had some music that I used to listen to when I was like in middle school, which was like obviously the jam, right? Everybody loves music from when they were in middle school. So as I do whenever I'm trying to learn new choreography, I try to like remove the brain and just like watch and let the muscles do their thing. And if you know me personally, I've mentioned this in lots of different ways, Facebook, etc. But I have this thing that plagues me as a dancer because I've been dancing my whole life, mostly Latin dance. I pride myself on picking up choreography very, very quickly. But one thing has always eluded me and that's that I cannot samba. I've tried a million different times, a million different ways. I've tried looking up ways like tutorials on YouTube. I've tried having an actual human being in front of me teach me. My aunt's Brazilian for Pete's sake and like, I can't, I just can't samba. I've tried and I just cannot. And so I'm doing this new choreo on YouTube. And again, I'm just brain disconnected. I'm just trying to follow out of breath just hurry up do the thing catch on I'm having a lot of fun and I look down and I realize I am doing the samba <laughs> now that I know that this particular video has samba choreography in it I bet that if I do it again I will trip up and not be able to get it right but for that one brief moment in my life I was sambaing so I needed to get this down <laughs> before I forgot because this is a day that in my mind anyways is going to live in infamy. The day that Desiree finally did a samba. <laughs> a week of this, which um, you guys would probably see better if my lens wasn't foggy, but it's raining. I have spent the last almost three hours back to back to back recording videos for the week and I'm pretty sure that in every single one I apologize at least once for the amount of noise that my son is making in the background. So if you're watching this video and then you go and you watch those, yeah, it might give you a little bit of a clue of which ones I recorded today. Breakfast of champions. It's like 6 p.m. and I have not picked up the camera today really. Not, yeah, I guess not really at all. I got four hours of sleep again last night. My son woke up at six when I'd gone to bed at two. I'm having a really hard time falling asleep lately. And the fact that my son's not letting me sleep in to the extent that I do that is wearing on me, I guess. It's catching up with me. I guess I'm overtired. Maybe that's why I'm having a hard time passing out. I don't know. I will say I have passed out on the couch a handful of times today, which I don't nap. I've never been a napper. It's very hard for me to fall asleep during the day. It's hard for me to fall asleep, period. So the fact that I'm on the couch and I'm just like conking out is remarkable. I spent the morning since I got an early start doing laundry and like editing and prepping videos for the channel, etc. And so since I had such a productive morning, I've spent literally the rest of the day watching my brother play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door for the seventh time. This is his seventh time playing. And I love watching people play video games. I don't know what it is about it, especially if it's a replay. I find it comforting for whatever reason and so my brother and I are just hanging out on the couch and he's playing Mario. I don't foresee too much else happening today and that's probably okay because I feel like I needed the break. But I did want to pop in and say what's up because I did not want the whole day to go by without, you know, me doing that, I guess. Glorious. Ah. Mm, oh my gosh, he's huge! Destroy! That's amazing. Forget you. Forget this flag. <laughs> oh, if he doesn't just swipe at the castle right now. 
Aww. Look at this fun little mail haul. I got 10 N95 masks because that's what I could get. So they're here, I guess. I don't know what I'd use them for seeing as I don't leave the house anyways, but I'm really just trying every kind of mask I can because I'm trying to find something that my son will wear. Hey, my kiddo's here. Speaking of, I got these as well. It's a box of 50. Yeah. And these are just a regular, like, paper disposable kind. If I could open the box one-handed, which I obviously am struggling with. Let's see, they're just the normal sort of pleated, papery type masks. And they've got little designs on them, which I guess is what makes some kids' masks. Well, and the sizing, I'm sure. But again, I'm just... We've tried the neck gaiter style, we've tried the ear loop cloth style. Yeah, Baba. And he's just not a fan of any of them, so whatever I can do to give him more options is what I'm going for right now. And then something extra fun, we got this. We're going to start working on finger isolations so that we can expand his ASL vocabulary. And then for Mama, I really look forward to going to Disney Springs every time we go to Disney because they have an Erin McKenna bakery at Disney Springs. It's not called Baby Cakes though. I think it used to be, but now it's just called Erin McKenna's. And they do gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, vegan, etc. desserts. Granted, I am on keto, so I typically don't eat that sort of thing, but when I'm at Disney, I give myself a little bit of leeway and I always have a slice of lemon loaf from Erin McKenna's. Amazing, look forward to it every trip. But I got all of these books used from a local store that was able to deliver, got a great deal, much cheaper than on Amazon. And I'm really looking forward to trying some stuff from in here. Maybe in a future video? We'll see. Look at that. That's a $24 book. I got this for six bucks, I think, delivered. And it looks pristine. It's perfect. Support local businesses, y'all. Everybody comes out ahead. Morning, friends. It is Monday. Usually on a Monday, I'd be starting a new episode. But last night, I completely forgot to do an outro. So I decided I'm just going to roll with it. We are about to start therapy. They changed our speech schedule yet again. So now we have speech at 10 a.m., which I usually wake up like at 8.30. My son will be woken by me by like 9. And that doesn't give us a whole lot of time at all to like prepare and eat breakfast, get dressed, get our bearings, etc. Furthermore, our next therapy of the day is not until 4.30 in the afternoon. So when we were doing speech at noon, it worked out a lot better for us because it gave us more time to readjust to it's a weekday we have stuff that we must do today because we're meeting with other people and there also wasn't such a gap between therapies still a huge gap but not as much of a gap so we're scheduled for 10 but i'm gonna ask her today if it's all the same to her if we could continue to meet at noon from now on because it's just easier We'll see because it's not just up to her. There's other families that she's seeing as well. Maybe somebody else is very comfortable with their noon window and I understand why they wouldn't want to give it up. But yeah, I'm going to try to make it quick because I'm sure as it is, this video is already going to be very long because it's going to be a five day video now instead of three or four like they usually are. So I'm going to get dressed. We're going to do therapy and then I guess we'll see what else we get into today in our giant like six hour gap between therapies. <laughs> it is about to be 3 30 and i'm crashing hard af so it's time for mystery coffee i might have cut off like half my head on that last shot i don't even know anymore mystery coffee <laughs> dark magic so boring did you know the darker the roast, the less caffeine something has, by the way? Interesting, huh? Not at all what I wanted right now, but uh, I guess I'll take it. You guys, you guys, you guys. I barely recorded today. <laughs> that was partly by design and partly because I was busy. I was gonna say nothing happened really, but the fact is that I was jumping from therapy to therapy. In between therapies, I was homeschooling my son and then preparing for therapies and then 
after therapy i was getting things ready for the next therapy session and writing things down so i wouldn't forget what we talked about in therapy and it was just it was a lot most of it not exactly exciting enough to be recorded so that leads us to right now which is bedtime i have been having pain in my left side that I thought for sure must be my liver or something because I don't have a gallbladder. So I was like, oh, that's it, my liver's failing now. Turns out the liver's on your right side in case you are worried or concerned about your liver failing. But after Googling, which is obviously the thing to do when you have a pain, it's become pretty clear that what I'm feeling is most likely uh, kidney stones again. You may or may not recall if you've been around long enough, but last year, last April, I want to say, I have an entire playlist on it actually. I'll just post a link up here in case you've got the time. But the TLDR version is I had kidney stones in both my kidneys and after like two months of waiting for them to do their thing, instead of leaving my body, they just went, now nah, we're comfy here and went do 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 and hung out right back in my kidneys. So I'm a ticking time bomb because at any point these kidney stones could decide to emerge. The thing is that kidney stones can hang out for as long as they want really and they won't bother you. What hurts is them trying to come out. And in the meantime, they're just sitting around getting bigger and like pointier, sharper. So whenever they do decide to come out, it's going to hurt that much more. Which if I recall correctly, the one in my right side was already five millimeters big a year and a half ago and that's pretty flippin' large for a kidney stone. And the one on my left side was like two millimeters, three millimeters, I don't know. I'd have to go back and check out my own videos, but point is, yeah, there's like an hour's worth of videos just chronicling my kidney situation. So I'm trying to just focus on drinking more water, but the problem with drinking more water is that that might make the guys go, ooh, let's get flushed, and then they'll come out and it'll hurt more, and I don't know at this point what's worse, them hanging out or them actually deciding to finally vacate. So that's what's going on now. But regardless, this video has probably gone on quite long enough. So how are you guys doing? How have you been? What's going on with you? What's new in your lives? As always, I'd love to hear from you all, so please let me know in the comments what you've been up to. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>